हेलो आई एम वैशाली वेलकम टू माय चैनल ऑनलाइन ट्यूटोरियल बाय वैशाली सो टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट अ न्यू टॉपिक एंड आई एम स्टार्टिंग द न्यू चैप्टर नोमेरिकल इंटीग्रेशन इन दिस चैप्टर वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट डिफरेंट मेथड्स लाइक टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द फर्स्ट मैथड विच इज़ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड इट यूजली कम्स एन एग्जाम इज ट्रेपेजल रूल ओके सो फर्स्ट आई विल डिस्कस विद यू इट्स अ डेरीवेशन एंड देन the question based on it okay so now let us start so what is numerical integration so numerical integration chapter is based on the concept of definite integral in which we used to find the area of the given region okay so similarly here also we will find the area of the given curve but by the help of the trapezoidal rule now let's start with the derivation the integral value is given to you integral is equals to a to b fx dx a to b is the limit of the interval fx is the function value dx is the derivative now fx is what is obtained by the interpolation formula in the interval a to b is divided by n sub intervals of equal width it means till now what we have done in numerical analysis or numerical method we have the different values of x with respect of those different values of x we used to find the values of y with respect of the function fx okay and that the values of x tell us about the interval okay the initial value and the final value of x will tell us about the interval so what we do we divide those given interval in n sub intervals and those intervals are equidistant to each other you can say those n points are equidistant to each other now how they are let's see x0 x1 x2 x3 x4 x5 so on till xn okay the value of x0 if i'll take as a then they are at a distance of h if i'll say so x1 will become a plus h x2 will become a plus 2h similarly xn will become a plus nh now we will take the interval value as a and b so x0 is represented by a and xn is represented by y now corresponding to these values of x of fx we will find the value of y like y0 y1 y2 so on y so corresponding to x we will find the different values of y but only when when we know the interval value h okay so till now you know that we have done this much okay now how we able to find the area which is covered by the curve or area which is surrounded by the curve you can say now see here i have drawn x axis and y axis now let's say a small in uh, small section of a curve okay a small section of a curve now curve is represented by y equal to fx now let's see if i join that curve point to the x axis so one line makes y0 other section makes y1 other line makes y2 so on these are the small sections okay and the point where y0 is meeting on the x line is the x0 similarly y0 meeting on x axis the point is x1 similarly y2 meet at x2 similarly y n meet at xn okay so this is the full area covered by the cover, uh, covered covered uh, region this is the covered region we have to find the area now this only i have told you that by the help of this integration we will find this area how that i will tell you later on first numerical integration is the process of evaluating a definite integral from the values of a function so here we have to find the value of a function by the help of definite integral now that how we can find those small areas and then by the addition of those small areas we can find the big area so that we will understand by the help of trapezoidal rule so derivation of trapezoidal rule is very important if it is in your syllabus usually comes in exam practice it first i'll explain you what is the trapezoidal formula so limit x0 to x0 plus nh fx dx is equals to h by 2 bracket y0 plus y and that means first term and last term plus two times of all the remaining terms y1 y2 y3 so on y n minus 1 this is the formula of trapezoidal rule now moving towards the geometrical representation ya geometrical proof or derivation anything you can call okay now we have taken a curve 
okay now we have drawn few points on x axis we have joined that curve point to x axis and that line is called as represented by y1 okay now the first and last point is x0 till x6 we have joined that line and it is represented by y1 similarly y2 y3 y4 so on y6 we got these small small sections within a big area now what we will do i have just named that 1 2 3 4 so on okay now we have to find the area of that big region okay now if we join the straight line we just ignore the curve and join the very slight line nearer to that curve we get the shape of trapezoid if you see we get the shape of trapezium okay trapezium so the simple trapezoidal rule is based on approximating fx by the straight line joining x y x1 y1 x2 y2 and so on okay so those straight line when we join we get the shape of trapezium now we have different trapezium and we know the formula of trapezium yes so by applying the formula of area of trapezium we can find the area of small sections and adding those all trapeziums we get the area of full region which we are looking for the formula of area of trapezium is half sum of parallel sides into the perpendicular distance between those parallel sides okay so addition of y1 plus y2 and the the perpendicular distance between them is x1 minus x0 that is h you know that is the constant distance h so area of first trapezium is half y1 plus y2 into h similarly for second similarly for third similarly for n minus 1 th it will become half y n minus 1 plus y n into h now if you take all these together and add them okay you will get repetition of all values from 2 till n minus 1 but only once we get two values we get y1 and yn only once okay so that's why y1 plus yn came only one time the remaining all the terms came two time so that's why we have multiplied plus 2 and taken the all terms like y1 y2 y3 so on till yn minus 1 and if we take h by 2 common this will become the formula so area is equals to h by 2 y1 plus yn plus 2 times of all the remaining terms so as we have used the area of trapezium and we added all those small trapezium to get the final area so that's why this trapezoidal rule sometimes called as trapezium rule also okay now here we have a question question is evaluate integral log x dx for trip by the help of trapezoidal rule now first i'll write what is given to me okay in the question given is the function fx value is equals to log x okay the interval is 1 is to 1 comma 2 this is the interval value now we have to see how we can apply the trapezoidal rule for that first we have to find the value of the interval okay value of the interval so that we get the small small areas with respect of them and if we add those small areas we get the area of a big shape so this interval is 1 is to 2 1 to 2 and then we have to divide this 1 to it's into small small the small small intervals okay you can say not small small intervals but small small points like x0 x1 x2 x3 with respect of that we can find the value of y and then we can apply the trapezoidal rule now i am dividing this interval into five equal parts because that is the best thing i hope you can understand okay so h is equals to you can say i am dividing into five equal parts so if you don't understand this you can do by this 2 minus 1 upon 5 so you will get 1 upon 5 then also you will get 0.2 okay that also formula you can apply so x0 is 1 while x5 is 2 okay so x0 is 1 x1 is 1.2 x2 is 1.4 x3 is 1.6 x4 is 1.8 x5 is 2.0 so these are the value of x with respect of all those values of x we can able to find the value of y now it is the time to calculate the value of y by the help of the function value given 
okay so i'm making the table so it will be more clear to you like x0 which is equals to 1 i'm writing it again x1 is equals to 1.2 x2 is equals to 1.4 x3 is equals to 1.6 x4 is equals to 1.8 x5 is equals to 2 now y is equals to log of x so log x0 will give you 0 ok log 1.2 will give you the value as 0 0.07918 log x2 will give you the value is log 1.4 equal to 0 0.14613 log x3 is equals to log 1.6 which is equals to 0 0.20412 similarly log 4 you can find by your calculator similarly log 5 you can find okay so log x4 is equals to 0.25527 log x5 that is log 2 is equals to 0 0.30103 so these are the values of y with respect of x now after obtaining the value of y the game has become very easy we can directly apply the formula integral log x dx is equals to see i am writing it very properly integral 1 2 we can write it like this 1 plus 5 h because h represents points point 2 ok so formula is h by 2 bracket y0 plus y6 the formula change it is y5 y0 plus y5 plus 2 times of y1 y2 y3 y4 now putting the value in the formula h is equals to point 2 by 2 y0 is equals to 0 ok and y5 is equals to point 30103 plus 2 times of y1 point 0 0.07918 so correct it it is point 0 0.07918 similarly y2 i have written y3 i am writing and then y4 so now after adding these all values finally solving this full term we get the answer as 0 0.16704 and this is your final answer okay so i have solved this trapezoidal rule and i hope this derivation trapezoidal rule or you can say trapezium rule derivation the concept of numerical integration is clear to you if you like the video then please practice few more questions of the similar type if you have any query comment them in a below please subscribe my channel and share these videos with your classmates because these educational videos are free. So more you can spread, the more everyone can understand. So till then, goodbye and take care.